we'll be reviewing today for the geometry upcoming test. Which pair of triangles is congruent using angle, side, angle? So if we look at A, we know that this side of the triangle is congruent to this side. And we know that this side is congruent to this side. And this is the included angle. These tri two triangles will be congruent because of side angle side. If we look at C, we have this angle is congruent to this angle. We know that this angle is congruent to this angle. And this is the included side. This is the included side, so your answer is C. Now, B would be side. And then we have this side. And we have this angle. So this would be side angle side. And this one, you're missing the included side, so it you would be not, it would be not enough information. So this one would be angle side angle. So the answer is C. Number three, if BCDE is congruent to OPQR, then DE segment DE. So the way I taught you in class was you want to look at the order. Here we have DE corresponds with QR segment QR. So Segment DE is congruent to segment QR. So number five, we have based on the given information, what can you conclude? We have angle M is congruent to angle Q. And we have a segment MO. Segment MO is congruent to segment OQ. Now, if we were to look at these two triangles, these are vertical angles, and we know that vertical angles are congruent. So what I can conclude is that these two triangles are congruent because they have angle, because they have a corresponding angle, side, because they have the included side congruent, and then another corresponding set of angles. So your answer is either B or C, so we have to eliminate A, We'll eliminate D. So we have triangle M N O is congruent to O Q P. And we have triangle M N O is congruent to triangle Q P O. So your answer is C because of the correct order. M corresponds with Q. O corresponds with O. And then the other angle N corresponds with P. So your answer is 5. What other information do you need in order to prove the triangle is congruent using side, angle, side, congruence? So we know that this angle and this angle are congruent, and we know that they share a side. Uh, so it says they want to use side, angle, side. So we need segment, this segment, which is segment BA, to be congruent to segment DE, and that would be side, angle, side. So we have AB is congruent to segment AD. So you don't know this. You don't have to have that information, this information, and that information. So it, it'd be segment AB is congruent to segment AD. So for number nine, we have triangle KLM is congruent to triangle STU. Which of the following can you not conclude as being true? So KL, segment KL, is congruent to segment SU. That would be false. Look at the order. KL, SU. That's the wrong order. Angle L is congruent to angle T. They're corresponding, so that's true. Angle K and angle S are corresponding, so that's true. And we have LM. LM is corresponding with TU, so that's true. So the only one that's not being true is A. R, S, T are the vertices of one triangle. E, F, D are the vertices of another triangle. Measure of angle R is 60. The measure of angle S is 80. The measure of angle F is 
uh, 60. The measure of angle D is a 40. Segment RS, the measurement is 4, and segment EF is 4. Are the two triangles congruent? Well, they would have been congruent if this angle was, was 40, but it wasn't. It's on this side. So neither any of these will prove it tri uh, will prove the triangles congruent. So I would say no, the two triangles are not congruent because this is 60. R corresponds with F. S corresponds with D. It should have been this side that we want that we need the measurement. So we're missing the included measurement for the second triangle. For the two quadrilaterals below, angle B is congruent to angle G. Angle BCD is congruent to angle GCD. Angle CDE is congruent to angle CDF. And angle E is congruent to angle F. Complete the congruent statement. I know that E corresponds with F. I know D scores, corresponds with D. I know that C corresponds with C, and I know that B corresponds with G. So I know that these two shapes are congruent because corresponding angles are congruent and corresponding sides are congruent. Given triangle QRS is congruent to triangle TUV, QS is 4V plus 3, and TV is 9V minus 7, and we know that these two sides are congruent so the measurements are the same. So we have 4V plus 3 equals 9V minus 7. Uh, we're going to go ahead and subtract 3 from both sides. So we have 4V equals 9V minus 10. Subtract 9 from both sides. So we have subtract 9V. So we have negative 5V equals negative 10. So V equals 2 because I divide both sides by negative 5. So to find QS and TV, which are the same, I know it's going to be 4 times 2 plus 3. So 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11. So the distance from Q to S and T to V are 11. Explain how you can use side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side, with the definition of congruent triangles to prove that angle D and angle B are congruent. Well, these two triangles are congruent because of side, they have a corresponding side, they have the included angle, and then they share a side. So triangle DCA is congruent to triangle uh, BCA. So therefore, angle D is congruent to angle B, and both triangles are congruent because of side, angle, side. They have the included angle congruent and the two corresponding sides. Given segment EF is congruent to segment HG, and EG is congruent to, to uh, segment HF, uh, now, we do know they share a side, so I think we've already answered the last one. We know the two triangles are congruent because of side, side, side. The first one was given. The second one was given because I just did the markings. And so this number three congruent to itself is called the reflexive property. So which of these has reflexive property in side, side, side? It's angle B. It's answer B. Angle BAC is congruent to angle, so I know that B corresponds with N. I know that A corresponds with M. And so we have N, M, P. So that's our answer. Which two triangles are congruent by angle, side, angle? We know that AF by 6 EC. So this segment and this segment are congruent. They also tell us that this angle and this angle are congruent because it says angle A 
ED is congruent to angle FCD. Now we know that these are vertical angles. So our two triangles that are congruent is triangle one and triangle two, which is we have A corresponds with F. It should be A corresponds with F. A corresponds with F. D corresponds with D and E, so it's going to be C using angle side angle. R triangle ABC congruent to triangle CDA, so they share the same side. This side is congruent with this side, and this side is congruent to this side. So both triangles are congruent. because of side, 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 because corresponding sides are congruent.